I recently caught up with Alison Harrop, who is the Group CFO for Dexas. What I love about Alison's leadership style is her candor, her authenticity, and real open mindset, and everything that that entails. We start with one simple question, and that is, what does successful leadership look like, and how do you get there? When, when I started to really kind of get some success in my career was when I kind of learned to let go a little of some yeah. of the stuff. So, and, and that goes for, you know, don't sweat the small stuff, don't get hung up on things, don't micromanage, don't, you, you, you know. Give away it, some of the control, right, see what happens. Right, give, exactly, give yeah. away some of that control, lay yourself, you know, expose yourself in a way. Yeah. Um, because then people start to see you for who you really are mm. and, and most of us are actually really good people deep yeah. down and somebody will find something that they like in you and will then start to listen to you and follow you and but I think there's, there's this tendency to you have to behave a certain way, you have to look a certain way, you have to say the right things, you have to yeah. um, and so that kind of sweating the small stuff can get you really kind of um, just too constricted but, but allowing yourself that to trust your instinct rather than oh, I need 50 pages of a document and I need this spreadsheet and I need this and I need that. Yeah. It'll let some of that go. Yeah. What I love about Alison's perspective um, on letting go is that it has as much to do about personal authenticity um, as it does trust in your teams. I love what she goes on here to say about EQ and the role that self-awareness has to play in leadership. Do you think that people can learn to develop their EQ? I think it depends on the individual as to how yes. much they want to move into that space. Yes. So I think you can teach it if someone's willing to learn. Yes. I think a lot of people are very resistant to it. Yeah, um, yeah. And you can't, it's hard to break down that resistance, isn't it? Yeah. But if they're open to it, you can, it's coachable. Well, it comes right back to this thing about being authentic because if you're not comfortable in your own skin then you're not going to be comfortable saying you know what I'm really not great at EQ yeah. I'm great at the IQ stuff but I'm really not great at EQ so so many execs I meet will get the feedback and then go that's lovely I'll take that report and I'll put it right down here in the bottom drawer and I'm never going to look at it again because that's way too confronting and yeah. you're telling me that I need to be open and honest and I need to tell people about my flaws and my mistakes and people won't do that like I, I and I'm I, I've again learned but I've shared my, um, you know, we've done LSI, we've done 360s. I've given all of my direct reports, my reports, and yeah. said, here, yeah, read this. This is yeah. who I am. Yeah. This is why I behave the way I behave. Yeah. I'm working on it and I'm learning, but, you know, but, but again, not, not everyone will want to do that because they'll be worried that suddenly I'm going to get judged and yeah. um, people are going to think differently. Or oh, they've got me. too much of an ego. Right. An open minded confidence based on authenticity but no ego is what defines Alison Harrop's leadership style. I believe if you can't do it yourself, you can't expect it of others. Amazing, thank you. Loved it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. So good.